Oh, hi. What is it now? Is it July now? This is my June book haul and unhaul. So I have so many things to go over today. Let's get into them. First, I have books that I hauled in the past month don't have very many of them, which is good. I have a few books that I was sent from publishers. I have Robert Jordan's The Eye of the World. This is book one in the Wheel of Time fantasy series. This is through the Fantasy Firsts program. This is, I think, very popular. I've heard really, really good things about it. I am not a big fantasy person, but I was interested in this because, like I said, it's so popular and I know a lot of people really enjoy it. I don't know a lot about it besides the fact that it's high fantasy and it's enormous. Uh, this book is 750 pages. I also have this nonfiction book, Know It All Shakespeare, which just looks really, really cool. I love Shakespeare, everything to do with Shakespeare, and it has different spreads with lots of pictures and information about qualities of Shakespeare's work and the historical context and influence that these things have had uh, in the past and the present and yeah just like a really easy to read flip through Shakespeare inspired informational book. I just think this sounds really nice. I also have this tiny book that was sent to me that is the Pocket Poet series number 17, Selected Poems of Malcolm, Malcolm Lowry, which I know next to nothing about but I'm always always interested in picking up a new poetry book so this is just like a really cute little book of poems. And then the last book that I have to haul for this month is a book that I found in a little free library and I was walking with some friends and I was like we need to cross the street and go to that little free library right over there and they were like okay Karen whatever floats your boat and we walked across and I saw this book and I like gasped so loudly and they were like what are you like they thought I was dying but actually it was just because the Love Interest by Kale Dietrich was in there, which is like a brand new book. It's a book of the month edition, so I guess this person is a subscriber to Book of the Month. They must have read this and gotten rid of it, which maybe isn't a good thing, but maybe they just don't like to hold on to books very long. But this is a young adult novel that plays with tropes, and it's about these like two guys who need to get this girl to fall in love with her. It's like an espionage type story. The two dudes, I think, end up uh, falling for each other instead, and so just everything about that sounds so fun, and I really want to read this. Those are all the books I acquired this month. As for unhauling, I'm seriously, like, starting to think about getting rid of a lot of my books. So a couple of the books I've chosen are Getting the Girl by Marcus Zusak, which I've had forever. It's like an old library book that I must have picked up years ago, and this, I think, is the third or second in a series. I don't have the other books. I haven't read the other books. Probably not going to get around to them anytime soon. And I actually did try to read this book once because I didn't realize it was part of a series. And it just was, like, about two brothers that are, like, falling for the same girl. And I wasn't that interested in it. So, yeah, I'm just not going to keep this. I'm also getting rid of this copy of The Help by Catherine Stockett. Again, I've never read this, and I think I picked this up probably at like Goodwill, like when this book was really popular. But I just have lost all interest in reading books about racism written by white people, unless it's like nonfiction and it's like a scholarly academic person who is doing like research in a field that they are proficient in. But fiction, like specifically about race that is written by a white person is just like, I don't have interest in reading books like that anymore. Like I said, this is super, super popular. So I might end up reading this book someday just to like get it under my belt. But I don't have any desire to keep this. I don't have any desire to read it anytime soon and I don't know. That's just how I feel about this book right now. The next thing I'm getting rid of is this book that I've had since high school because I was really into Lost in high school and yes it is this giant Lost encyclopedia and this has an A through Z like alphabet of all the characters and like things in the TV show Lost. I've gone through this book a couple times and I don't need to hold on to it any longer. I don't care about this show that much anymore um, and there, I really have no reason to keep this book. I don't ever need to look at the contents of it ever again. <laughs> My last section of books that I'm getting rid of, this was kind of a big decision for me that I'm just 
wow, yeah, I'm doing it. As you all probably know, I love audiobooks. I listen to everything on audio and I just, I grew up with audiobooks and I adore them. But now that I've gotten into like the Overdrive app on my phone, I'm really, really used to listening to audiobooks on double speed. And when I listen to an audiobook on normal speed, I just get very annoyed and I don't like it. So I've decided to get rid of all of my CD and tape audiobooks because there's no way for me to listen to them on double speed and I just don't think I'll ever listen to them again. I don't have like a CD player or a tape player handy to me unless it's in my car, but if I'm in my car, I can just listen to books on my phone. So I'm getting rid of a ton of audiobooks. Let's just go through them extremely fast because there's so many of them. A Million Little Pieces by James Frey. I listened to part of this and I thought it was weird. There's also a lot of controversy about this book, uh, about it maybe not being true. It's a memoir, um, and I just don't care about it. I wouldn't even keep this if it were a physical book, probably. But yeah, audiobook is gone away. The Accidental Tourist by Anne Tyler. I don't remember if I ever read this. It's read by John Malkovich, which is kind of cool, but yeah, this is... I'm like missing a tape. This is super old. I, I don't need this. The Ghosts of Ashbury High by Jacqueline Moriarty. I have read this and I own this in a physical book form. I love this book, I love this series, but audiobook is leaving my possession. Cold Sassy Tree by Olive Ann Burns. I have no idea what this is. Running with Scissors by Augustin Burroughs. I listened to this on a road trip with my sister when we went up to our cabin once and it was weird. I never finished it. I only listened to the first half of it. Uh, oh well, the CDs are leaving me now, goodbye. The Lovely Bones by Alice Siebold. I absolutely love this book when I was in high school. Also, I'm aware that this like weird lighting thing is happening and I don't know why it is happening. I don't know what it's coming from. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, anyway, I loved this book when I was in high school. I own a physical copy of the book itself. The Almost Moon by Alice Siebold. Got this probably because of my love for The Lovely Bones. I think I also own this in book form, but I've never read it. The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monk Kidd. I've never read this. Uh, this is one that everyone read a really long time ago. I never read it. Um, maybe someday I still will read this book. This tiny little one cassette version of Eyewitness by Ellis Peters. Don't know what this is. Also got this tiny one cassette version of Strung Out by Sarah Peretsky. I think these are like little mysteries. I don't know. Oh, I know what this is. It's the sun. <laughs> The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson Burnett. I think this is an abridged version of it for children. The Princess Bride by William Goldman, which also seems like it must be an abridged version because it's only three hours long. I don't think that's right for this book. I don't know. This is like my favorite movie. I've never read the book. Someday I will, but yeah. Patty Jane's House of Curl by Lorna Landvik. This is a book that my mom recommended to me forever ago and I want to read it. I've been meaning to read this for years. Nights of Rain and Stars by Mav Binchy. Is that how you say that? I don't know anything about this. Goodbye. Breathing Lessons by Ann Tyler. I read this book a long time ago and I liked it a long time ago. It's Always Something by Gilda Radner. Read by Gilda Radner. Um, this is so ancient. Treasures by Belva Plain. Performance by Joanna Gleason. Ooh, anyway, I'm still getting rid of this. Nanny Returns by Emma McLaughlin and Nicola Krauss. I think this is a sequel. Yeah, sequel to The Nanny Diaries, I'm guessing, which I haven't read, haven't read this. I don't know why I, or how I acquired this book. Kiss Me Like a Stranger by Jean Wilder. I don't know. At Home in Mitford by Jan Karen. I know nothing about this book. Magical Thinking by Augustin Burroughs. Haven't read this one, don't know anything about it. Dirty Jokes and Beer by Drew Carey. Why do I own this? This looks so unappealing to me. What you guys need to understand is that I've had like pretty much all of these for years. They've been in a huge box in the back of my closet because I never use them and they're just like random audiobooks I've picked up for free in most cases. The Syndrome by John Case. Don't know anything about this book. Lady in the Lake by Raymond Chandler. It's a classic Philip Marlowe mystery. I don't know. 
The Sittiford Mystery by Agatha Christie, Angela's Ashes by Frank McCourt, Breadcrumbs by Anne Ursu, which I love Anne Ursu and I haven't read this book yet and I really want to, but I'm getting rid of all my audiobooks, except for my Harry Potter audiobooks because those are just different and they're special to me. The Return Journey by Mav Binchy. I, this is another book by this author and I've never read anything by her. I don't know who she is, but apparently I have several of her books. I think I own a couple of her books in physical form too and I don't know why I have been picking them up. Black and Blue by Anna Quindlin. I don't know. Another copy of The Secret Life of Bees by Sue Monk Kidd. This is so old. Invisible by Norm Lee. I feel like I've never even heard of that book. Absolute Zero by Chuck Logan. This is narrated by J.K. Simmons. I almost want to keep it. <laughs> A Bridge to Terabithia by Katherine Patterson. This still has the shrink wrap on it. Um, it contains... Oh my god, this is narrated by Robert Sean Leonard. I'm discovering so many cool audiobook narrators right now that I was not aware of. That's super cool, but I'm still getting rid of this. <laughs> In Cold Blood by Truman Capote. If Tomorrow Comes by Sidney Sheldon. I don't know. Then we've got my Ancient, The Face on the Milk Carton, and Whatever Happened to Janie by Carolyn B. Cooney. These are in the Face on the Milk Carton series. I love these books. I own these in physical book form. But like, these are the old cassettes that I listened to when I was a kid. And then Satellite Down by Rob Thomas. I remember listening to this when I was a kid too, but I don't actually remember what it's about or if I liked it or not. Those are all of the cassettes and CDs that I'm getting rid of. There's so many of them and they're just sitting in my closet doing nothing because I like audiobooks on double speed now and I just will never use these again. So also if anyone is watching this and they're like, Karen, why do you have all these physical books that you obviously don't read because you listen to everything on audio. I just, I like owning physical books. I like being able to flip through them. I like being able to just like go to a certain point and look up different quotations and reads certain chapters. I also like the ability to lend my books out to people because most of the people I know are physical book readers and I, I probably wouldn't lend them an audio book. I would just lend them a physical book. So that's why I like owning physical books in case you were judging me for that. Yeah, I'm gonna go now. This lighting is so bad and I'm so sorry, but I just don't care. I just wanted to get through all of this stuff. Um, I, yeah, I apologize, but yeah, the sun is just doing weird things right now. That's it for my haul and unhaul for June. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it wasn't too ridiculously long, but that's all for now. So goodbye and I'll see you guys later.